this week on NBA 2K TV. Get ready to vote. We have the Shoe Creator Challenge finalists. Plus, we chat with King's rookie, Kyle Guy. Scott O'Gallagher wraps up his winning tip series. And we have your top plays. Welcome to NBA 2K TV. We're so excited because this week we are announcing the finalists for the first ever NBA 2K Shoe Creator Challenge. This has been so much fun and we've received so many amazing entries. We wish we could showcase them all. However, we are now narrowing it down to four different finalists in these categories. If you see these shoes on anyone else, you're going to want them, they stand out, they're gonna go with anything you put on and they're just the absolute best. How could you not love them? It was not an easy task, but it's out of our hands now. It's in yours. Yes, that's right. You are going to be voting for which design will win each category and who will take home 250,000 BC. The shoes speak for themselves. Like the Miami Vice colors, the Vice Wave is such a great colorway and the shoes go so good with the jersey and the shoe and shirt and the shorts. It's, it's a perfect match. Now remember, each finalist is not walking away empty handed. In fact, each finalist is going to take home 100,000 VC. So congratulations to all the finalists. The inspiration from it with the colors and everything, I think is just kind of the stuff that I like, the stuff that I enjoy um, with my shoe collection. I think it's very like vivid colors, just kind of making something that I enjoy so everyone else can enjoy as well. I feel like I should win because it's a very unique shoe. I made it myself. I didn't use a colorway. I started from the base and worked my way up. Yeah, congratulations, and let's get started. Here are the four finalists for best use of color. In this category, it's all about the balance of sophistication and flair, and these colorways have it all. But who did it best? Will you go for Ansara's refreshing Mango Berry Clyde? Boom Jam's 90s Converse design? Eptic Rev's Elite Kobe Tribute, or Tree Hugger's Fly Skippin' J90. It's up to you to decide. Vote now. Next up, most likely to be worn by an NBA player. Finalist in this category had to have a slick style and team rep was a plus. So which look has the goods to go pro? Is it whatchamacallit circa 73 Pumac ones? G's greens. Lil Mo D's Clipper KB ones. Or the J-Man's Kyrie's. Cast your vote. I absolutely love this category. Here are the best throwbacks. Taking the classics and reinventing them. Sounds easy, but to pull it off with true style is harder than it looks. These finalists managed to pull it off. Lucci, AKA, took the Air Penny 2 Vice style. Gamer Keezy's Air Jordan 6 takes flight with the Galaxy Blast. YSI Remix goes way back to the classic Air Jordan 1 with this remix traditional colorway. And it's another inspired take on the Air Jordan 6 from True Vibes. So, who did it best? Vote for your favorite now. And finally, most original. These designs deserve your attention because they are created from scratch. The most original category will have no colorway entries, but only original designs built by the gamer. Which unique design do you think deserves to take that next step closer to the streets? Is it Vito Society's Mamba Venom? Mr. X Panda's Air Panda 10? Cheese Master 35's Frontline Assemble Nike? Or will you go with Ron Phenomenal's All-Star Nod? 
Vote now. Again, congratulations to all the finalists. And we will announce the four winners who will go up for the grand prize. Yes, you will decide which two makes it into the game. Good luck. 2KMC, here with your 2K Compete events happening in the neighborhood. Saturday, it's getting lit with Beats by Night. 3v3, 2v2, a dunk off court, and a downtown court. It's all there and all worth double rep. Sunday, hop on the 4v4 courts and earn double rep. Tuesday, bounce around in the cages and take advantage of the double rep happening all day long. And the double rep continues all day Thursday. Find a full squad and get some run on the 5v5 courts. Congrats to all the new legends that are popping up on your screen. Good work, y'all. Stick around, and I'll be back later with your top assists of the month. We've been catching up with NBA players who are spending a lot of their downtime playing 2K, and we recently found out that NCAA champ and Kings rookie Kyle Guy loves NBA 2K, because who doesn't? So take a look. Welcome to 2K TV, Kyle Guy. How are you doing? Doing good, how are you? Good, good. Are you bored yet? Um, you could say that. <laughs> and I'm sure we're all feeling kind of the same way, doing the same stuff over and over again, but uh, we're getting by. Yeah, well, you got drafted, you're playing for the Kings. How has been your um, NBA experience so far? It's been cool, it's been really unique because um, I'm on a two-way contract, so I play part-time in the G League, part-time in the NBA. I've only actually gotten in in three games in the NBA, but I feel like front office really like gets to see my development throughout the G League and in practice when I'm called up and whatnot. I think I made the most of my opportunities uh, when I did get in, in the NBA, so just hunkering down, keep my head down, trying to be ready for, for that next opportunity. What's the biggest difference between college and the NBA? I think it's just the talent level. A lot of people say it's like the pace or the speed, but you know, you're already playing at a high level and a high pace in college. So uh, I just say how good everyone is, even the guys that, you know, you think never play or like 12th men on the bench or whatever, like they were killers in college and high school. So they can, you know, give you a buck at any moment. You have a lot of downtime now. Are you playing 2K? What mode are you playing on? Yeah, um, so me and my buddies do like a My League Association uh, online. Um, we say, if we can't do the league in real life, we might as well do it in the virtual world, so. <laughs> but you are doing the league in real life. Yeah, I know, but it's on hold right now. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's true, that's true. Have you played 2K against anybody on the Kings? I played against Justin James, the other rookie, and I played against uh, Winion before he got traded to the, to the Blazers, so. But, um, no, that's about it. Did you grow up playing 2K? I did. So you are in 2K20. What was that like to see yourself in the game? It was weird. None of, the, none of this kind of stuff feels real. Like, like it feels like it's a movie. I don't know, it's cool. It's a blessing. I'm super grateful. But at the same time, like just like everybody, like see my rating a little higher, so I got work to do. Well, besides 2K, what are you doing to stay in shape for the NBA season? Me and some of my uh, G League teammates, we go to this empty soccer field and we kind of work out, get conditioning in. The strength coaches are doing a good job of getting us equipment. So I, I have a dumbbell, kettlebell, I have some um, bands and stuff. So really just anything that gets me out of the house. I take the dogs to the dog park all the time, like twice a day. So um, we go on long walks. So just anything to you know be as ready as possible. Are you doing anything else uh, from keeping going stir crazy? I'm a huge gamer, not necessarily video games. I'm board games, card games all day, every day. So me and my wife, um, we play pretty much any game you can think of. I have like 40 games in my, um, in my closet, so. All right, I've got some rapid fire questions. Are you ready? Yep. Do you make your bed every day? Now I do, yes. <laughs> I, used to because I was always under the impression like 
I'm just getting back in the bed. No one's going to see it, so why do I need to make it? But now that I have a significant other, I make my bed later. <laughs> good, good. I like that. Is there any go-to lockdown food that you have? I've been having uh, talenti ice cream, or like gelato as well. Yeah. Is. Fudge brownie, amazing. Is there any food that you won't eat after lo lockdown because you're just too tired of it? No, I'm a... I'm a, I'm a food buff actually, so I eat anything and everything, so. Favorite food? I Man, you can't go wrong with just steak and crab legs. It's kind of fancy, I don't get it very often. That's probably why it's my favorite, but. Ew, <laughs> fancy. Honestly, I mean, I could eat pizza every day for every meal. All right, so you've gone from Virginia to California, East Coast or West Coast, baby? Uh, definitely West Coast. Yeah, West Coast. <laughs> it's just. The weather, the vibe, everything about it. It's the vibe for sure. Yeah. All right. Well, it was so great having you on 2K TV. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Bye. Just days after recording this interview with Kyle, his grandfather passed away from COVID-19. Our hearts and our sympathy go out to him and his family during this difficult time. And please, everyone out there, stay safe. Welcome back. Again, if you have not seen the first two parts of Winning Tips, I highly encourage you to go check them out right now. It's time to hit the neighborhood. Keep in mind that there's a lot of sharks out there and I'm here to help you navigate those waters. So whether you're in the playground, the rec, or the pro-am, one of the biggest ways that you can help your team is by being a great screen setter. So there's two different ways that we can be effective as a screener. One, we can screen on the basketball, or two, we can screen away from the basketball. It's always great to keep the help side defense occupied. When you keep them occupied on the weak side, you can disrupt their rotations. Now, when you set a good screen, when do I slip? Well, there's two different ways that we can approach this. One, when we're on ball, we wanna know what kind of pick and roll coverage is our defender playing. If he jumps out to guard the ball handler, we can immediately slip. If we're off the basketball, we're setting a screen, if my man switches, that's my immediate cue to go slip right to the basket. The two most important things when you're setting a screen is one, you gotta sprint to the screen. When you sprint to a screen, you make it much more difficult for the hedge man to get in position. And two, when you set the screen, you gotta make sure that you're there early and you're set. Just remember that the ball has energy. We wanna move the ball up the court and look for easy transition opportunities before we get into our half court offense. It doesn't matter which perimeter position that we play, the ball moves faster than you dribbling it. So if you have somebody up the wing to throw the ball, early the ball up. If I'm a big and I just rebounded the ball, I need to find one of my guards to outlet the ball to. We wanna look for early baskets in transition. It doesn't matter if we're five on five or three on three, whether you're guarding the basketball or you're guarding off ball, all of you guys on the team defensively are on a string together. We gotta remember to contain the basketball and help the helper. All right, so let's look back to the celebrity game. And here we see Chris displaying the one act that we don't like here at 2K TV, and that's my man didn't score. Here's a wide open drive down the lane. He's supposed to set up and fill. He does not, because he's hugging up on his man, because he doesn't care as long as his man didn't score. You got to experience that a little bit in the showcase. I wasn't the one that got 45 points dropped on my head by Bear to Beast. That's not a winning attitude, Chris. One facet of the game that is overlooked but is so important, whether we're on the digital hardwood or the real hardwood, is communication. Communication is important, but at the end of the day, you gotta have one voice. You don't want five or three different guys yelling in a headset, commuting different things. One guy take ownership and direct the rest of the troops. And if that's you, you know the terminology. You've been watching Winning Tips. Not only do you know where you need to be, you know where your teammates need to be. When you look at all great defenses, the one thing that they do is communicate. Talk to your teammates. Be vocal. Make multiple defensive efforts. And I guarantee you those wins are gonna go up immediately. All right, you've watched all three segments of Winning Tips, and I promise you that you are better basketball players. So I encourage you to take these tips, apply them to the real hardwood, apply them to the digital hardwood, and I guarantee that those W's are gonna go up immediately. Because that's what we do here at Winning Tips. We improve your game. Until next time, winners win, and I'm out.
Hey guys, I'm my team producer, Robbie, and I am here to talk to you guys about the GOAT. I'm not talking about LeBron James. I'm not talking about any of those other people you might think. I'm talking about Michael Jordan, and his GOAT card is now available in my team. So how can you get this GOAT Michael Jordan card? He is now available in takeover packs, and he is a part of that mysterious GOAT collection that also includes Kobe Bryant from the Spotlight and Historic Spotlight Sim Rewards. What is this GOAT collection gonna lead to? Well, I wouldn't be wanting to miss out or get behind on that, so stay tuned. If for some reason you don't like Michael Jordan, I'm sorry, but you're gonna be facing this thing in Unlimited, you're gonna be facing this thing in Triple Threat Online, and you're gonna get tired of trying to guard the GOAT. Go get Michael Jordan. There are a bunch of great highlights in this pack beyond just the GOAT. You got Allen Iverson, you got Darius Miles, and you also have an Opal Chris Bosh. Galaxy Opal Chris Bosh, guys. This is a car that can all around do everything. Hit the three, play great defense, hit the boards, and turn back opposition shots. Very important to have a well-rounded big in your lineup if you're shooting for that unlimited 12 and 0 reward or the best rewards in Triple Threat Online. Oh, and speaking of future GOATs, how about Giannis Antetokounmpo showing up at the Galaxy Opal tier, small forward and power forward. Maybe there will be a point guard in the future. If that happens, I suggest you go get some defense. Hey, and speaking of defense and the last dance, how about Scottie Pippen, the collection reward? If you manage to get all the cards in the takeover set, you have the most elite defender of his era. Scottie Pippen can take a look at the other side of the court. He can watch that Jordan dribble the ball up and say, you know what, I got this. Let's see if we can stay in front of this man. Two goats, one collection, tons of great cards to go get, and I hope you enjoy the takeover set. What's up, 2K community? This is the 2K MC, and today's a big day because I have your State Farm Assists of the Month. You submitted the plays, but now it's time to pick the best. Let's start with King Akinu in the playground. First, drops the defender with the wicked crossover. Then, gets the nutmeg assist for the win. Talk about confidence in the clutch. Staying in the playground, we have the amazing SC. Throws the no-look lob over his shoulder and converts for the two-hand slam. Pushes their lead to 20. Whatever happened to playing defense? Moving on to Leazy225. Looking to end the game with a big play. So it's not one lob, but two lobs for the win. Check out the hang time on the behind the back finish. Last but not least, Let's see what Iman Zach has been up to. Lands on our list despite the unconventional no-look kick pass. But his teammates splash the shot, so who are we to judge? Now, vote for your State Farm Assist of the Month. And if you want your highlights to be featured in an episode, then submit them to social media using the hashtag 2KTVWOW. This is the 2KMC, and if you already can't wait for next week's top plays, then you're just like me. Did you vote for your favorite shoe design? If not, restart the episode and vote right now. And we'll see you next week. Bye.